check in with Mark. And uh, Mark, we've been talking about the timing of this uh, ice yeah. storm. And has it really arrived in the metro area yeah, yet? Uh, or west not, side not of the quite? metro, we're starting to see some light precipitation. In okay. this case, we say precipitation because it's a mixture of ice pellets. There might be snow mixed in, but I got a feeling it's ice pellets or freezing rain. You got liquid rain out of Seaside. You see that, Pete? Wow. But it's 30 degrees. Now, we notice the road is not frozen there, but you know, when it's 30 degrees, you got to wait till after dark, and then it can be kind of marginal at 30 degrees. That's what you're going to see at the coastline tonight. Now, it's dry here in the valleys. Look at that temp and look at that wind. We had a gust of 48 today with the uh, temperature in the low 20s. Pete. We haven't had a day like this in about eight years, so wow. really, really cold stuff. Okay, so there's a band of uh, precipitation moving through. I think there's more behind this, but the radar is kind of shooting over the top of the low level stuff, so there's actually more back in here. But um, yeah, you can see this band of uh, mainly ice pellets, I think, moving through uh, West Metro and then down towards like Aurora. This will gradually you know, keep pushing east. It's running into very dry air down below. If you've noticed, you, maybe your skin's cracking. Very dry air because this came down from the Arctic. But tonight, we will expect areas of freezing rain to develop. Ice pellets at first, and then liquid freezing rain that freezes on contact. But notice the lows, low 20s in the valleys, upper 20s to around 30 at the coast. And east side, the cold air is uh, thick enough. It's a thick enough layer of the cold air that's all snow over there for tonight. All right, so here's our storm timeline. This really applies to the entire I-5 corridor and the metro area, at least at first. So for tonight, uh, to about 20 degrees here in the valleys, low to mid 20s. Wintry mix goes to freezing rain, a quarter to half inch ice glazing. Our models are in disagreement how much moisture we get tonight. We might get lucky and it's just a quarter inch or less. And in that case, you know, just there'll be a light ice coating on the roads. Regardless, tomorrow, everywhere from Salem all the way up to Longview, including the metro area, we're going to be frozen all day. All right, but we will just have light freezing rain showers. I mean, the actual active weather, there won't be a whole lot happening during the day tomorrow. I think showers come and go, it'll be cloudy, but it's cold and the east wind will back off. That'll be nice. Now, Saturday, here in the metro area, we're going to get heavier rain that moves overhead, and I think most uh, central and east metro will still be frozen Saturday morning, midday, into the early afternoon. So this could be significant ice accumulation through midday east metro. Here's the good news. We've been kind of hinting at this. We do think some south wind will make it for sure into the valley. The valley warms up into the 50s on Saturday. West metro warms up. South Metro warms up, Clark County warms up, Longview warms up. The only place left over by late Saturday that's frozen, I think, is the uh, East Metro, like east of I-205, close to the gorge. So there you go. That's your little Christmas Eve warming for you, and it could be dramatic in your neighborhood. You see the scattered showers tomorrow, kind of a break tomorrow night. Not much happens tomorrow night, and then you see this big slug of rain coming through on Saturday. Again, at this point, uh, just beyond noon Saturday, we think there'll be a push of southerly wind up the valley. Everybody except the gorge and the east metro should thaw out. That's our plan for now. Here's our ice glazing forecast in one of our models. And you can see everywhere from about Salem North gets at least a quarter inch of uh, freezing rain and uh, maybe up to a half inch. And this doesn't account for the icing later in the day on Saturday. Okay, so your Portland forecast again. First alert weather day, of course, for your Friday. We're frozen. There's not a ton of rain that's going to fall, though. It'll just stay icy. Everything stays put. Saturday, again, thawing in the evening, maybe even east metro we get thawing. And I'm going for a high of 34. Now, that means Hillsborough, Wilsonville, maybe Clark County, you could be in the 50s by that evening, by Christmas Eve itself, and that would el eliminate the road issues. I think we're definitely good Saturday night into Sunday across probably the entire metro area. And Pete, it's easy after that. A whole bunch of wet weather systems and uh, warmer than normal temps in the 50s. Okay, Mark, we'll be checking in with you throughout the night to see how things develop. Meantime, a 